Welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a little different. I think, ow, oh, mm, my bare feet, it's tough. That's why I tried to get rid of this daggum black gum tree, but I could only afford to get rid of a few branches because the thing is just massive. I still step on them every now and again. Anyway, back to the topic. It's funny that I'm barefoot because I'm talking about flip-flops today and I wear flip-flops every single day, all day, every day, everywhere. Everywhere you could possibly go I wear flip-flops. So they're very important to me. So I figured let's throw a review up for the flip-flops. I usually use these, uh, these flip-flops from Walmart, the George brand, but I uh, decided to go with Sanook because I have a pair of Sanooks that maybe I'll picture for you here. Abby, my wife, does not like my Sanooks. I've had them since approximately 2008. They look a little rough, but they're one of my favorite shoes, and she keeps wanting me to throw them away, so I thought, let's get some, let's get some flip-flops that are the same brand, and uh, hopefully they're just as good. So I got a notification on my camera that somebody was at the front door that somebody was Yours truly, Amazon Prime. Let's go check these things out. Um, hello. You were just at my front door. Oh, oh. you cheeky, cheeky little Amazon folk. I appreciate that effort. I mean, this is a nice neighborhood, but that's above and beyond. I really, I really appreciate that. Good work, Amazon. I want to first give you a little review of these guys. These right here are my, my George flip-flops. Now, they're not bad. The thing about them is if you look close, I've had these things for about two years. They were $10 at Walmart, but see how much that's indented in here? See how this indents so far? I'm practically feeling everything that graces the bottom of this shoe. And we haven't had the city stroll through our streets to repave them in, well, a long, long time. So it's practically gravel and it's not, it's not comfortable to walk on. So, I don't know if we're gonna retire these yet. I think they're good beach flops, as long as I'm not walking on gravel. But around our neighborhood, you gotta make a change. So that brings me to these guys. Let's dive in, shall we? probably wondering why do you have two sets of these flip-flops I'll tell you why because one of them was $33.95 and one was $35.95 and they were both by Sanook they both seem to be the same flip-flop um, and they look the same so I thought let's just uh, order both of them and we'll just hope that the $33.95 or $99 flop is better. We'll save two bucks. We'll call it a day. I absolutely blew it. I accidentally ordered dark brown. You can't tell it was sunny outside. You couldn't tell. I meant to order black. I ordered black on the one. I ordered dark brown on the other ones on accident. So the dark brown ones that you're going to see here today are the $35 ones. And I know what you're thinking. $35 that's freaking expensive for a pair of flip-flops but it's the shoe that I wear is it a shoe it's the flop that I wear the absolute most so why not spend a little money get a nice sole in there so my feet aren't killing me when I'm walking on the gravel so let's start off here with the dark brown socks. all right already it kind of feels like a memory foam deal 
you push in and it comes back out slowly. So that's a step in the right direction. As you can see, these are dark brown, not in love with that. But they feel good. They feel good. This looks really comfy too. This is this is very soft. Good stitching. All right, sure. Now, let's test out the old $33 ones. This is the black. Huh. This does the same thing. Push in, it's kind of like a memory foam. I don't really see the difference. It looks like the same flip-flop. The only difference is this one says Sanook Beer Cozy Comfort. And this one just says Sanook. Let's see if one or the other is thicker. Hmm, this is interesting. The 35.95 one is actually pretty, it's a little bit thicker. You can see here, it's fairly thick. It's the same thing, but this top layer here is a little bit thinner than this one. Let's try them on. Also, one thing to note, on the inside of here, this part, it's kind of like a neoprene, and uh, that feels good. However, these guys, the 33, it's like a seat belt strap. So already, that doesn't seem like it's gonna be super comfortable. Also, the reviews I read about these said that this thing will just pull, pull right out of here after about a week or however long. So already, this one's not looking good. This one's looking like the winner. I'm just an idiot and ordered it in the wrong color. Look at this. This is the street I'm talking about. It's basically gravel that's just held together by concrete. All right, so far, the sole is actually really good. You can't even really feel this stuff below your feet, which is really surprising. I mean, look at it. It's ridiculous. The problem is the space between my feet and this little strap though is pretty loose. I don't like the fact that it's already really loose. So who knows what that's gonna do for me. Let's go try the other ones on. These are the black 3395 ones. All right, these are the dark brown 3599 ones and they feel pretty good. I got the same issue going on with this strap. It's a little bit too loose going on. Maybe it's just because I ordered a 12 and not an 11, but I mean, the fit altogether isn't bad, but it's big. It's big, it is a little bit more comfortable. But my thing is guys, it's $36. That's a decent chunk of change. You're paying for a sole and some straps. Ugh. heck of a fence to move. Maybe that's gonna be a project in the future. Change that thing out. So I don't know, I think my, uh, my end game review on these things is, I'm probably gonna send them back. Go with the classic Georges from Walmart. They lasted me two years. They were 10 bucks. At that rate, I spend the $30 that I just spent on these things over the course of six years and I'm all set, there's no way. These things are gonna last me six years. I know that already, just by feeling them. So, that's gonna do it. All right, these things are back in the bag. And they're going back to the UPS. And you know what? We're sticking with the tried and true George flip-flops from Walmart. I can't, I can't emphasize how good these things are. I mean, yeah, they've gotten a little wear. And then even after I've put them back on, they were more comfortable still than the other ones. So you can't beat these things. You just can't. 10 bucks. You got a comfy pair of flops. What do you think? She's never been much of a talker. Thanks again for watching everybody. I appreciate you tuning in. Hope you found this review helpful. Um, if you noticed, I'm sitting down and I, I'm usually not sitting down in my videos. The reason why is because we need to have a serious talk. 
if we want to continue to make some of these videos, let me just let me just share what's been happening. I post a video. I get Facebook messages, I get text messages, I get all kinds of different messages. And you guys are saying, wow, I love your videos, this is awesome. And you don't know how much that means to me. It means the world. But what I have to tell you is YouTube has an algorithm. And if you throw those same comments in the comments section below the video, it's gonna boost it up. More people are gonna see it. People will subscribe, people will like, people will comment, and the channel will grow, and I'll be able to keep making these videos. And honestly, this is growing on me. I kind of enjoy making the videos. I didn't think I would. Actually, the first video I didn't really enjoy because I had no idea what I'm doing. Now I'm getting the hang of it a little bit, and it's starting to get pretty fun. So I'd like to make more of these videos please make sure to like and subscribe and comment. You know, if you have something to say, comment. I'm gonna see it in there. I'm gonna respond. We're all gonna have a good time. And uh, we'll get back at it again here pretty soon. Thanks again, guys. See ya. One last shameless plug for Walmart. George Flip Flops. They're not a sponsor. Maybe one day they will be. Go get your son. Ten bucks. Can't beat it. Last me two years. All I do is wear these flip flops on my gravelly road.